Hello guys, welcome to the review of Motorola G 2nd generation brought to you by techbreachers.in Now this is the box pack and uh, we have already unboxed the phone I'm just gonna take it out of the box and you know uh, just keep it out We have a very good black color Motorola G 2nd generation and you can see it looks very cool It has a very nice matte finish at the back very good to hold and yes uh, I will admit that it is prone to fingerprints But uh, still the phone looks real great and real good to hold It's a 5 inch display and the resolution is 720 by 1280 and it has a PPI of 294 which is really good and very, uh, very nice for uh, reading text and all now this is the successor of obviously the Moto G as this is the second generation. Now it has a 2100 mAh uh, battery at the back. It's inside we cannot sadly access, access it as it is non-removable. So let's have a look at the rest of the hardware. So now uh, we have the front firing dual speakers and the great thing about them is that they're stereo speakers and we've tested them so they work like actual stereo speakers. So that's a really good thing and here we have the 2 megapixel front facing camera which is autofocus and we have a couple of your average sensors there. At the back we have the 8 megapixel shooter which is again autofocus and it sadly shoots only till 720p. I don't know why 1080p is not uh, supported but uh, well that's what it is and uh, now this is the single LED flash the Motorola logo very nice it has a little dent like which feels nice to see and on the bottom here we have the USB port for data syncing and for charging your phone on the top we have the 3.5 mm audio jack the left side is barren there is nothing completely and on the right side we have the power lock and unlock button as well as the uh, volume keys now these are uh, nice they protrude out just the right amount and very nice to press and you can easily direct them so here we have the display as you can see it looks superb and uh, the colors are represented accurately and it has a very good display quality that you would like to look at for i don't know maybe hours so uh, the device that we have is running lollipop 5.0.2 but out of the box uh, the Moto G runs uh, KitKat 4.4.4 so it's a good thing that uh, you know it is upgradable to the latest OS now uh, one more feature that is there is that it is dual sim now for uh, Indian people that is a real good thing as a lot of people have dual sim phones you know one for messaging one for whatsapp maybe <laughs> but it's a good thing we also have the list of general things that we usually find in phones these days and that is Wi-Fi, 3G, Bluetooth 4.0, USB 2.0 and uh, there is one more thing that people would appreciate and that is the Gorilla Glass 3. Now for especially for teenagers who take their phone almost everywhere they you know they uh, tend to drop it and uh, this phone has a very good build quality combined with the Gorilla Glass it is perfect for a person who is a more of an uh, outdoor person and uh, you can be rest you can rest assured that it won't break easily so uh, the next thing that we have in this phone that is very very likable is the 16 gigabyte of internal storage now the people who have suffered low internal storage will greatly appreciate this feed by Motorola and along with that we have a micro SD card slot which is expandable up to 32 GB the phone is also let's say not really light but not really heavy it's just the right weight so that you know it's there in your pocket it's it weighs at 149 grams and uh, the processor is a super fast 1.2 gigahertz quad core qualcomm msm snapdragon 400 processor and for the gpu part we have an adreno 305 old and trusty one and it, uh, they do perform very well as you can see the performance is very very snappy and uh, we did not encounter any huge lags in fact we did not uh, encounter any lag at all so uh, that's a really good part on um, the processing uh, side camera app on the Moto G is the one that is found in stock Android and it's a very minimalistic interface you just have two buttons one for video and one for you know uh, switching to the front facing camera and this over here is 
the wheel that you use for focusing on something specific now the absence of a camera shutter button is actually quite annoying at some times because you know if you if, uh, some people have the habit of touching and focusing as is normal on a lot of phones and uh, this can be quite bad because it does not have a shutter button but still it takes quality uh, snaps and if you swipe from the left to the right you have this wheel that has all the options that, uh, options that are there including HDR and panorama and uh, GPS location geotagging and uh, you can have a um, few more settings over here so let me quickly take a shot of the box itself so here we can see uh, the box and I just have to fo uh, drag this to focus anywhere I want and then click and instantly it shoots a, sh um, shoots a photo and also by uh, clicking and holding the this part over here you can take multiple photos and it will even show you how many photos you took here are a few snaps that we took from the phone and as you can see the photos are real great looking and the details are maintained the colors are represented accurately we found that the micro shots taken from this phone are really awesome they do a very good job of focusing properly and giving out great pics so you can have some great time taking some micro shots with this phone the low light performance is moderate but for the segment it's superb bringing in the flash does degrade the quality of the uh, of the pics a little bit but that's all fine and uh, the videos also come real great and perhaps they are flawless we have no complaints with the video so altogether the camera is superb and you will have no problems with it i'm recording this video in 720p outside my house so let's see if it can focus or not i'm using the phone's microphone for recording my voice also now let's have a look at the dialer now the dialer is the stock dialer that you find and this is where you have all your contacts recently that you had it's just a speed dial feature and you can see the recent and all your contacts over here and here is the dialer button and all the buttons are big you can just dial anything and call up so that's pretty stock with android lollipop moto g was introduced to a new notification area this is the new notification area you just have to swipe down and this place will show you all your notifications and once you swipe down again it shows you all the handy features that you have and uh, features are some of the features some of the features are really great including the torch and the car screen the car screen will show you all your connected devices so it's really handy when you need them and over here is the user profiles you can add a guest user you can add another user and you can make changes to the existing user that is already there there is also a very good feature that uh, that is present in the moto g second generation that is if the phone is below 30 percent of battery it will go to turbo charging mode and the battery will you know uh, the battery in just 10 minutes will get back up to 30 percent so i think we need that as our battery is running low and so for browsing internet we have google chrome as the stock browser in this phone and we have all been familiar with google chrome for now quite a while also this is a great chance to show the keyboard that is there and it comes with built-in swipe facility so you can just swipe and type some random words it's real uh, the keys are big enough to type e type on easily and this is the landscape view and you can still type very nicely in it and let's just go to a website let's say we go to our own website techbreaches.in so let's just jump onto it and as you can see it loads up the page pretty fast and it's very smooth too you can easily zoom in and zoom out it does it seamlessly almost no lag at all and you can you know easily open up links in new tabs and for changing tabs you can just click this button and then head over to this one and you know just go through all the web pages that you have loaded next up let's have a look at the google now and uh, we all are familiar with the working and just to make sure that it works here too let's test it who is abraham lincoln 
According to Wikipedia, Abraham Lincoln was the 16th President of the United States, serving from March 1861 until his assassination in April 1865. Oh, thank you for telling me that. I did not know it. So it's pretty handy thing. Even the calendar app is real good in this one. And this is how you can see the calendar. It is changing the months as I scroll and it shows you all the important days and festivals over here and you can just you know go from here to set your sh uh, schedule to the day the weeks and we have some more options over here that tells you about the birthdays the holidays and everything and also shows you your ids so it's pretty cool it's pretty nice if you tap on a month it will show you all the dates of that day normally as it would in a normal calendar you can swipe up to get it back to all your important dates so now let's quickly jump into a game just to show that that the gpu is actually working so we'll hop on into subway surfers so let's have a quick two minute gameplay of this just to show you that it works perfectly fine So that was the gameplay of the game and you can see it runs pretty nicely. So that was our review of the Moto G second generation. Hope you liked the review and found it helpful. And uh, to get more cool reviews and latest tech news, tune into our channel and be sure to hit the subscribe button. And please, if you like the video, hit the like button and share with your friends. Thank you for watching and happy teching.